Now, we left Windora a little earlier this morning, had a lovely stay in Windora, and uh, we've just now passed back through Windora, which can only really mean one thing. It means that uh, we've changed our course. The, the course that we were hoping to go on started getting a few question marks about it, and we wanted to make sure that uh, we didn't get caught out hundreds of kilometres off the beaten track, so to speak, heading towards the Diamantina National Park today. Ollie, we were driving from Windora back towards Junda Way to take a turn off, I think it was onto the Connemara Road. But what happened, Ollie? Well, yeah, so we had, um, well, last night in my wisdom, just before I went to sleep, I decided to read the map and, and change plans or, you know, set a, set a course. And I did the numbers and worked out the shortest route, uh, the least number of Ks by about 30 Ks, was, was to take the Connemara Road. And I thought, yeah, we'll just take it. It looks like it might be a bit rough, but we should be able to get through... Then, um, as we talked about it this morning, we all kind of agreed that it was a potentially going to be a rough road, but also because of the um, potential for there still to be a little bit of wet in some of the channels, uh, we thought we would check with some of the locals. So first thing we did is we called um, Davenport Downs and um, a number of other the stations through the way that we're going to be heading towards. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get through to them because you know, we left a bit late and people were probably out and about busy with their day. Um, so then um, we called uh, uh, the ranger through uh, at the Diamantina National Park uh, and he confirmed our suspicions and said, yeah, we should probably go around. And um, at the same time, uh, I also called uh, Bruce Scott, Mayor of Barku Shire, um, for his local knowledge on it. And he basically said, don't go that way or we'll fall off the edge of the earth. So uh, we hastily turned around and we headed back to Indora and now we're on our road uh, heading out um, the more slightly more beaten track basically but it still is off the beat track and along that track we would head racing the clock now to meet up with the drover moving a monster herd of cattle from the drought affected barclay tablelands in the northern territory into the channel country i thought a wedge-tailed eagle nearly taking my drone would be the most exciting part of my day but boy was i wrong when i set my eyes upon the incredible feat that drover john sylvester was tasked with undertaking i couldn't believe my eyes it seemed like cattle as far as the eye could see but the mammoth mission didn't seem to phase the cool, calm and collected Sylvester. We spent some time with him and his pups as he described the impact of the drought on the country as seen through his eyes. A stark contrast of the land teeming with life and water that lied ahead. On the next episode, the Diamantina National Park awaits in all its lush, green, watery glory. We carry on on the road to Big Red.